So today's video is going to be 10 items that really helped me to get back in shape postpartum so I could work out right at home here with the baby. Let's get started. Okay, so item number one, a handy dandy yoga mat. Now I know this seems like something you probably already have, but because you have a brand new baby um, and we really wanna keep you know things germ free, I did buy a new yoga mat. I just picked it up from like a Marshalls, I think it was like $9 and I use this only in her room. So I don't take this outside, I don't take this to a yoga studio. I only use this in her room, but definitely clutch. Okay, item number two, this is something that um, no one I've talked to has purchased and it was only $5 from Target typically in their like college section, um, but it is a mirror and I'm gonna show you guys myself, ding, and what I'm recording on. Uh, and this mirror is really dirty, but it is a skinny frame mirror. And the reason that I bought this was because um, postpartum, it's very important, at least it was for me since I had gained so much weight and my core was so soft, is to watch myself from all angles and to watch um, how my core was moving, I guess you could say, and make sure it wasn't coning or, or doming is the word um, while I was doing any type of movement because that's things that can cause you to look like you're still pregnant and have that pooch is diastasis recti. So I would do glute bridges and this is so light. I would just pick this mirror up, um, hold it above me sometimes, do glute bridges. Um, I would also use it sideways to any side planks and just watch how my body was moving. Alrighty, third item is a light set of dumbbells. Now these are three pounders. These are the Tone It Up dumbbells um, that I purchased from Target. It's really gonna help as you build up your strength without overdoing it. The beauty of these is they're so small and compact, they can fit right in the closet or under a, sh um, a dresser or something. And look how cute they are, they're pink. They match everything else in her room. So light set of dumbbells. Okay, object number four, or item number four, is a heavier set of dumbbells. So these are 10 pounders, and these are great size to have available for you as you're building up your strength postpartum and, and once you start feeling a little bit stronger. Um, and you can also just use one at a time for certain movements or once you start getting into more um, compound movements or squats. So a heavier set of dumbbells so that you can do videos. Um, there's so many great fitness resources here on YouTube as well as um, through various apps. And so I use these all the time. All right, so on the theme of weights, this is my fifth suggestion for you. Did you hear that slap? And this is a kettlebell. Um, a lot of the workouts I was doing, especially with Tone It Up, required a kettlebell. And the thing I like about this is it's eight pounds, so it's a different weight um, than my lighter set and my little heavier set, but I'm able to do um, different movements with it. You know, even sometimes I'll do swings I just try to be really careful when I'm doing the swings in the apartment. Um, make sure you know nothing flies out of your hand. Make sure you're paying attention. But this is something that I love having in our little home gym. Um, is this eight pound kettlebell? Okay, item number six. I love these. I have a whole set of these. I've had them for a couple years, um, and they are resistance bands. And this is great to have at home because um, you could put this around your knees and do like, they're called clamshells. Imagine, I don't know why I was like, hey, but like you can put these on different areas and help work your inner thigh strength. Um, also, you know, you can do shuffles around the house or around the baby's room. And um, they've just really helped me to tone up my legs. I also sometimes like to put them around my wrists here. I'm gonna bend down a little so y'all can see and do like, these little opens to help get that little fun area over there. So um, resistance bands, you can find them on Amazon, you can get them at Target. Um, these aren't any like special bands or anything, but just look up resistance bands on Amazon or next time you are in like the sports lifestyle section in Target. So this is item number seven. I know people have a lot of love-hate relationships with this, but I do suggest having a foam roller. This beautiful foam roller is from my friend Paige and it's way fancier than I've ever had before, but I'm so grateful for it. Um, and you can like roll out, I think this is Lululemon, you can roll out in different ways um, with different pressure points on this. But just a regular schmegler foam roller is fine. You no know, postpartum, we are trying to recirculate the blood and work out different parts of our body. And a lot of times your body is getting reaccustomed um, to working out again and so, this is just so clutch to have. Number eight 
is a resistance ball. Now we've had this ball um, for quite a while and I used it during pregnancy. You know, they tell you to bounce on it and all that. So you might have one called a birthing ball, but it's great to have around your place when you're working on your postpartum fitness. You can stretch on it. You can um, stabilize your core by sitting on it and doing your arm movements. Um, and you can also do some core movements on this depending on where you're at. Okay, number nine. Now this isn't something that I say you have to have um, but I did use it a lot at the beginning of my postpartum phase, and that is dun, 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 a sweat vest. Now, I actually really liked this for a reason that's not typically advertised, and that's because it made me feel really supported. Um, when you're breastfeeding, your breast can be like, I feel like I went from a, a C to a Z. Anything that involves any movement at the beginning, this was really helpful for me to just like hold it all in over my sports bra and my shirt. So I actually did a video review on this when I was really early in my postpartum stage and I will link that here in case you wanna learn more about the specific vests I bought and my review on it. All right, item number 10, this is a big ticket item, but I found this to be a major blessing when it came to fitness and just everyday life around the, the house. And that is, dun dun dun, dun an ergo baby now what i love about the ergo baby there are many other like baby carriers made out of fabric and different things but our baby was really big like she's never really had a small baby face and i didn't feel secure in those things i always felt like worried like my main thought was carrying her in that carrier but with this there's actual clips it's extremely sturdy um and you can use this up to your baby being a toddler so i felt very confident with um, the security of this not to mention you can adjust it based on their height um and their weight and this is supposed to be the best for your hips and the baby's hips that's why it's called ergo baby because it's ergonomically correct so um, why did I mention this as part of things you should have at home for your fitness routine postpartum? Because um, this changed the game for me. I was able to carry her everywhere and get way more accomplished um, around the house and just have more peace of mind. She was, you know, fussy less because she was on me. She felt like she was my little koala bear and she was able to be part of everything I did. But what I didn't realize is when you are carrying around a 15, uh, 20, she's like 23 pounds now, dumbbell, aka kettlebell, aka your baby, everywhere, it's really gonna, you know, that's a, that's a lot. That's like you're carrying around a weight everywhere. Thanks for watching. I'm so excited to be on this postpartum wellness journey with you all. And if you have any questions, comments, or video requests, please leave a comment below. All right, bye-bye.